switching to a new Android phone and want to bring your WhatsApp chats along? No worries. Here's how. Welcome back to the Tennisshare channel. Today, I'll guide you through two simple methods to transfer WhatsApp from Android to Android. Let's dive in. Method 1. Transfer WhatsApp from Android to Android via Google Drive. First, let's start with Google Drive. On your old phone, open up WhatsApp and go to Settings, then tap Chats and hit Chat Backup. Now, make sure that the Backup to Google Drive option is set to Only when I tap Backup. Once that's done, go ahead and create a fresh backup to your Google Drive. This is super important because it's how we're going to move everything to your new phone. The next step is to uninstall WhatsApp on the new phone so that the old data won't be there. Then, head to the Play Store, reinstall WhatsApp, and continue the setup process by verifying your phone number. Make sure you're signed into the same Google account that you used on your old phone. Once you verify your phone number, WhatsApp will automatically detect the backup on your Google Drive. When it does, you'll see a prompt to restore your chats. Tap Restore, and just like that, your chat history will start transferring to your new phone. Now while this is happening, make sure both phones stay close to each other and are unlocked. The transfer process might take a little bit of time, depending on how many chats, photos, and videos you have. So just be patient. Once the transfer is done, tap Next on your new phone, set up your profile, and then your WhatsApp chats, photos, videos, and everything else is now successfully moved over. You're all set. If don't have a Google Drive, or don't have enough storage on Google Drive, then you should drive next method. Method 2. Transfer WhatsApp from Android to Android with iCare Phone Transfer. First, click the link in the description to download and install iCare Phone Transfer. After installation, open iCare Phone Transfer on your computer and select the WhatsApp option. Next, connect both your old and new phones to the computer. Now, let's enable USB debugging on both devices. The steps might differ slightly depending on your phone model, but generally, head to Settings About Phone and tap Build Number 7 times until you see a message saying Developer Options are enabled. Go back to Settings, find Developer Options, and toggle on USB Debugging. Back on your computer, confirm that the source and destination devices are correctly selected in iCare Phone Transfer. Once everything looks good, click Transfer. On your old phone, open WhatsApp. In WhatsApp settings, go to Chat, Chat Backup. Under Backup Frequency, select Disable to prevent cloud backups. Then, tap Backup to create a local backup of your chats. Once the backup is complete, return to your computer and click Continue in iCare Phone Transfer. At this point, you can choose which data you'd like to transfer, like chats, photos, videos, and more. Select what you need and click Continue. The transfer process will begin, and the software will automatically move your data to your new phone. Depending on the amount of data, this may take some time, so feel free to step away while it works. Once the transfer is done, pick up your new phone and download WhatsApp from the Play Store. Log into your account and follow the setup prompts. Make sure to grant all the necessary permissions when asked. Finally, you'll reach the Restore screen. You can see it says Restore from the internal storage. Tap Restore. Enter your name and that's it. Your WhatsApp chats, photos and other data have been successfully transferred to your new phone. If you don't have access to a computer, iCare Phone also offers a mobile app version. Try it out and see the results for yourself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.